1 Thessalonians 5.23, one more time. Now may the God of peace make you holy in every way, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless until that day when our Lord Jesus Christ comes again. God who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. I just want to uh, think about that one word, faithful. God is faithful. Do you know why life is going to work out? It's because God is faithful. God is faithful. Because this is his project, not ours. Because we are fallible. We are failful. We are faltering. But he is faithful. And the word in the Greek um, means stickability. Stickability. It means absolute, consistent loyalty to a person. He is faithful. He is faithful. So that's why life's going to work out. That's why my relationship with God is going to succeed. Not because of me, but because of him. Because God's running it. And he has no surprises. There are no surprises in store with him. When I drop the ball, when I make a terrible mistake, <laughs> he knows me too well to be surprised and it says in 1 Corinthians 10 God is faithful and he will not allow me to be tempted more than I can withstand okay he is in charge he set the ball rolling he keeps it in play and like we said when you always think of Magnus Magnuson I've started so I'll finish and Philippians 1 6 says the God who began a good work in me the God who initiated this relationship with me is the same God who is faithful to that relationship. I think faithful is the most important word in any relationship, isn't it? Faithful. Relationships cannot withstand unfaithfulness. And God is faithful until the day of Jesus Christ. And that, that concept means when God's full love for what he's created will be made apparent, will be manifest. The day of Jesus Christ. So God is like a parent with a tricky four-year-old. <laughs> and you may, you may worry about whether you're going to lose your grip of your salvation or something, or you lose your grip of your love for him. You might just have a really bad headache. You might get a, a virus or eat cheese and get upset and uptight with yourself. And the truth is, he, your grip on him is not as important and significant as his grip on you. That, that's right, isn't it? So think of that tricky four-year-old coming to a road and he is safe in the parent's hands. There is no danger because the parent is absolutely committed to that four-year-old. Well, you might say, so what? why bother? <laughs> so if God's faithful and God's going to do it and God's going to make this relationship succeed, why should I bother? Well, that's because it's a relationship and not a, a maths problem. It's not something that you can figure out by yourself it's not but it's a relationship it matters supremely that you uh, respond that you are faithful in fact it's God's faithfulness God's stickability that makes it possible for you to be loyal to be positive to be committed to what you're doing so what does that mean I said there can be no unfaithfulness in a in a relationship Adultery is one thing, but there can, can be no flirting or banter or roving eyes, can there? There can't be any, any fantasizing, there can't be any side issues, there can't be any playing the field. You're committed to a relationship and God's faithfulness, God's consistency makes it possible for you to see where you are, that you are called and held and loved and accepted so that you can respond in this way. That's the negative side of it. And the positive side is, is oh man, it's so easy. 
it's, there's a Jewish proverb, okay, and it says, don't try and take the negative things out of your head, the bad thoughts out of your head, because you'll be left with nothing. Try putting good thoughts in. So the positive side of this relationship is just simply to, to love. It's to, it's to love, to watch your, watch your relationship develop and deepen as you are day by day more and more cherished, you know, Paul said, whatsoever is pure and lovely, whatsoever is clean and noble, think about these things. Think on these things, dwell on them, make them your language, make them your occupation, make them your assignment, dwell on these things, okay? And your relationship will deepen and develop. Because God is faithful. He who calls you is faithful and he will bring it to pass. God's faithfulness creates the opportunity for, for mine, for mine. Okay, the wedding was just one point in time. One happy day. In, but the marriage is a lifelong process. And it's up to us, isn't it? Our side is important to, to respond to the faithfulness, to the love that he's shown me. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. It's just one day at a time. I just keep waking up, I keep offering my day, offering my relationship, and, and seeing the choices that I make move me along the path towards the light and not away from it. I monitor where I'm looking and what I'm doing and how I'm focused. I concentrate, I put my effort and nerve strength and willpower into it, knowing that God who calls me is faithful and he will do it. Amen. Have a good day. God bless.